These 16 amazing people decided to ditch the ordinary and open their hearts and maybe their homes to some seriously unusual companions. We're talking about wild monsters who might steal your spoons or even clog your pipes. Get ready for some heartwarming and maybe a little hair-raising stories about the incredible bonds between people and their unconventional pets. Get ready to journey with us as we take you through the 18 people who adopted wild monsters as pets. Number 16. Neela and Luna In a little village nestled close to a big forest, there lived a young girl named Neela. She was as curious as a cat and as kind as a summer breeze. Every day she would venture near the edge of the village, where the trees whispered secrets and the air hummed with life. One day, while Neela was exploring near the border of the village and the forest, she stumbled upon a sight that filled her heart with wonder. There, standing amidst the tall grass, was a young elephant calf. Its eyes were big and shiny, reflecting the innocence of youth. Neela named her Luna for the soft glow that seemed to surround her. Luna had strayed from her herd, lost and alone. But Neela, with her gentle spirit, decided to befriend the little elephant. She started leaving bits of food and bowls of water near the village border, knowing that Luna would find them. As days passed, Neela and Luna formed an unbreakable bond. They would spend hours together, exploring the wonders of the forest and sharing secrets only they could understand. The authorities soon caught wind of Neela's unlikely friendship with Luna. They were worried about the safety of both the girl and the elephant. But when they saw how Neela treated Luna with kindness and respect, they realized there was no cause for concern. Neela understood that Luna was wild at heart and deserved to be treated with love and care. Eventually, the day came when Luna's herd returned to the forest. Neela watched with mixed feelings as Luna rejoined her family. But their bond remained unbroken, a silent promise between a girl and an elephant, reminder of their special connection. Number 15, Monique and Charlie. During a sunny day in South Africa, Monique, a kind-hearted wildlife helper, stumbled upon a tiny, lonely baby chimpanzee that he later named Charlie. He was all by himself, far from his chimp family, looking bewildered and lost. Monique's heart melted at the sight of him, Without hesitation, she scooped him up and took him under her wing. Bringing Charlie home wasn't easy. Monique had to transform her place into a cozy haven for Charlie, full of fun and adventure. She set up tall climbing frames for him to swing from, scattered toys for him to explore, and even arranged for him to meet other chimps at a nearby sanctuary. Every day was a new adventure for Charlie. Monique made sure he had plenty of things to do and see, keeping him busy and curious. They played games together, laughed, and shared tender moments. Monique showered Charlie with love, just like a mother would. As Charlie grew, so did his bond with Monique. He trusted her completely and looked to her for guidance. Together, they faced challenges and celebrated triumphs. Charlie blossomed into a happy and healthy young chimp, thanks to Monique's unwavering devotion. Eventually, the time came for Charlie to return to the wild where he belonged. Monique knew it was bittersweet. She would miss her little friend dearly, but she also knew it was the right thing to do. With a heavy heart, she watched Charlie swing off into the forest, his homecoming complete. Though Charlie was gone, Monique knew that their time together had been precious. She would always cherish the memories they shared and the bond they had formed. Number 14, Piotr and Ursa. Deep in the heart of the Russian wilderness, Piotr, a beekeeper with a kind heart and a love for honey, stumbled upon a sight that melted his gruff exterior. It was a tiny brown bear cub, all alone and whimpering softly. Mama Bear was nowhere to be seen, and Piotr couldn't just leave the helpless creature there. He scooped it up gently and took it to his cozy wooden cabin. Piotr, a man of simple needs, wasn't sure what to do. He named the cub Ursa, which meant she-bear, in a faraway land he'd read about in a book. Now, Piotr wasn't exactly prepared to raise a bear cub, but his loyal companions, two big fluffy dogs named Boris and Olga, took Ursa in stride. They sniffed her cautiously at first, their tails wagging with a mix of curiosity and suspicion. But Ursa, small and playful, just wanted to cuddle. 
As Ursa grew bigger, her fur turning a rich, glossy brown, she learned the ways of Piotr's world. She'd lumber around the cabin with her playful swats respecting the sharp nip Boris and Olga would give if she got too rough. She'd even follow Piotr as he collected honey from his beehives, watching in fascination as the golden liquid dripped down his fingers. But Piotr knew Ursa wasn't meant for a life surrounded by wooden walls. He loved the little bear cub, but she belonged in the wild, catching fish in the streams and foraging for berries in the forest. So with a heavy heart, Piotr started training Ursa for her return to the wilderness. He taught her how to sniff out danger, how to climb trees to escape from trouble, and most importantly, how to find food on her own. It wasn't easy. There were times when Ursa would look at Piotr with big, sad eyes, longing for the warmth and comfort of the cabin. But Piotr knew he was doing the right thing. Finally, the day came when Ursa was ready. Piotr led her deep into the forest, a bittersweet feeling blooming in his chest. He gave her a gentle nudge and a silent goodbye. Ursa hesitated for a moment, then turned and lumbered into the trees, a wild glint back in her eyes, and Piotr watched her go, with tears rolling down his cheek. He might miss Ursa's playful swats and rumbling snores, but he knew she was exactly where she belonged. Number 13. Anya and Kessie Anya, with her hair as wild as the Scottish seashore, spent her days surrounded by playful otters. But one stormy night, a tiny whimper tore through the howling wind. Anya rushed out to find a shivering pup, all alone. Lost and scared, the pup clutched at Anya's gloved finger. Anya named the pup Kessie. Kessie, with eyes like black marbles and fur as soft as down, clung to Anya for warmth. Anya nursed Kessie back to health, feeding her yummy fish smoothies and wrapping her in cozy towels. But Anya knew otters were like kids. They needed friends to play with, to wrestle and chase each other in the water. Otters were family creatures, and Kessie, all alone, was like a lost puppy. Anya, with a wrinkle on her brow, sat by the seashore, the sea breeze carrying her worries away. Suddenly, a bright idea popped into her head like a cork from a champagne bottle. She contacted the kind folks at the nearby Otter Rescue Center. Together, they built a special place for Kessie, a cozy enclosure with a pool and soft pebbles, just like the beach. But the best part? The enclosure was right next to the bigger otter pool, where a whole otter family splashed and frolicked. Kessie, at first a little shy, peeked through a hole in the fence. There she saw other otters zooming around, diving like furry torpedoes and wrestling in a happy mess. A wide smile like a slice of sunshine spread across Kessie's face. Soon she was chirping and chattering, eager to join the fun. The other otters, curious about their new neighbor, swam closer. Noses twitched, greetings were exchanged, and soon, Kessie was part of the otter games. Every day, Anya would visit Kessie. They'd play fetch with a shiny pebble, Anya splashing it in the pool for Kessie to retrieve. Anya knew then that she had found the perfect solution, one that filled Kessie's days with love, laughter, and otter friendships. Number 12. Miguel and Felipe Miguel, a weathered fisherman with a large heart, stumbled upon a sight that tugged at his soul. A tiny sloth, no bigger than a melon, clung desperately to a branch, its big, doleful eyes reflecting pure terror. Poachers, those men who plundered the rainforest with no regard for life, had snatched its mother away. Miguel knew the rainforest like the lines on his own weathered hands, and he understood that sloths, with their slow-motion ways and fondness for solitude, wouldn't thrive in captivity. But this little one, christened Felipe by Miguel, whimpered with a loneliness that mirrored the silent forest after the poachers had gone. So Miguel, with a calloused hand, gentle as a whisper, built a special haven for Felipe. He weaved a web of branches, strong enough to hold the little sloth's weight, mimicking the tall trees Felipe would one day call home. Soft moss, gathered with care, cushioned the enclosure, a comforting bed far better than the cold, hard branch he clung to earlier. Every day, Miguel brought Felipe a bounty of leaves, the kind sloths loved most. He watched patiently as the little one, at first wary, then curious, 
reached out a tentative claw and took a bite. With each passing day, Felipe grew stronger, his fur regaining its healthy sheen, and his eyes, once filled with fear, now sparkled with a newfound curiosity. But Miguel, a wise man of the rainforest, knew his role wasn't to be a replacement mother, but a guide. He would provide for Felipe, nurture him back to health, but most importantly, he would keep alive the wild spirit that pulsed within the little sloth. Felipe belonged to the rainforest, and Miguel, with a heart full of love, helped him find his way back. Number 11. The Bobcat in Disguise In the middle of Minnesota, where the wind whispers through the trees and rain sometimes pours down, a gardener discovered something that made his heart ache. A tiny kitten, lost and mewling sadly in the storm. Without hesitating, he took the fragile little creature home, feeling a rush of concern. What he didn't realize at first was that this simple act of kindness would unravel into a tale as captivating as any mystery novel. As time passed by, the gardener cared for the kitten tenderly, nursing it back to health with endless love. But as the kitten grew, it became evident that it wasn't your typical house cat. Its ears were a tad too pointed, its paws a bit too large. Then, like a secret waiting to be revealed, the truth emerged. This was no ordinary kitten. Unbeknownst to him, the gardener had taken in a baby bobcat. With this revelation, the gardener embarked on a journey akin to that of a detective, determined to uncover the mystery of his newfound friend's true identity. Knowing when to seek assistance, he reached out to experts at a nearby wildlife center. With their guidance and his unwavering resolve, the caregivers at the center labored tirelessly to ensure the bobcat's well-being and eventual return to its natural habitat. Through rehabilitation and attentive nurturing, the bobcat rediscovered its wild instincts, its untamed spirit undiminished by its time spent in captivity. And so, the bobcat reclaimed its rightful place among the trees and hills, forever a part of the landscape that had once provided it refuge. Number 10. The Woman Who Lives With Two Tigers Janice Haley lives in Florida with two Bengal tigers. Unlike most people who prefer regular pet cats, Janice enjoys the company of wilder animals. She shares her cozy home with two huge tigers, each weighing a massive 400 pounds. Janice doesn't just consider these animals as pets, she sees them as beloved family members. Their presence inspired her to leave her office job and start a sanctuary dedicated to providing a happy life for these majestic creatures. In a world where keeping tigers captive sparks controversy, Janice's sanctuary offers a different perspective. It's a place where love and respect form the foundation of the relationship between humans and animals. Janice is committed to demonstrating that peaceful coexistence with powerful predators is not only possible, but also highly rewarding. Through her sanctuary, Janice and her team emphasize the importance of kindness and understanding in human-animal relationships. They work hard to create a safe space where these amazing animals can thrive, showcasing the profound bond that can transcend species differences. By challenging conventional notions about animals, they illustrate the potential for harmony between humans and even the most formidable predators. Number 9. The Unbreakable Bond Between Roxy and Moo In the heart of a sanctuary in Zimbabwe, amidst the gentle whispers of leaves and the soft chatter of animals, Roxy stumbled upon something extraordinary. There, she discovered a baby elephant all by itself, separated from its family. This unexpected encounter marked the beginning of a remarkable tale of compassion and companionship between Roxy and the baby elephant, whom she lovingly named Moo. Roxy faced a daunting task ahead. She had to care for this vulnerable baby elephant, but she was resolute in her determination. With love and patience, she embraced the challenge, working tirelessly to nurture Moo back to health and happiness. From feeding Moo with a bottle to helping her conquer her fear of water, each step forward strengthened the bond between them. As time went by, Roxy and Moo grew even closer. They developed a profound trust in each other and found joy in each other's company within the sanctuary. Despite their differences in size and strength, 
they became the closest of friends. Mu, now a symbol of hope and resilience, frolics happily, showcasing the spirit that Roxy helped to flourish within her. Mu will forever carry the memory of Roxy's kindness that rescued her. Number 8. Mary and Rambo Not many people are friends with alligators, but somewhere, in the middle of Florida, Mary found an unusual friend, a 15-year-old alligator. It was love at first sight for Mary who quickly named the alligator Rambo. Soon they became friends as Mary raised Rambo to be her pet. But their friendship faced a big problem when state officials worried about where Rambo lived. Mary didn't give up on her scaly friend. She put up warning signs and got a special permit to keep him. She stood strong against the chance they might be separated. And ever since, they have lived together happily. While there are no signs of problems between Mary and Rambo, it is just really weird to see a person having a 15-year-old alligator as a pet. Number 7. Messi the Puma Maria and Alexander had a big surprise when they visited the zoo one day. They met a cute puma cub named Messi, who caught their attention right away. They were so amazed by Messi that they decided to take him home and make him part of their family. But bringing Messi home wasn't easy. They had to do a lot of work to get everything ready for him. They changed things around in their house to make sure Messi had everything he needed to be happy and safe. They even made special areas just for him and planned his meals very carefully. However, it wasn't all easy peasy. Their other cat, Kira, wasn't too sure about having Messi around at first. It took some time for everyone to get used to one another. Despite the challenges, Maria and Alexander knew that Messi belonged with them. They thought that Messi came into their lives for a reason, and they believed that unexpected things like this could turn into wonderful opportunities. Number 6. Anna and Jupiter Anna was a teacher who discovered her true calling in rescuing wildlife and made a safe haven for animals that were mistreated or left behind. The heart of the story revolves around Jupiter, a magnificent lioness that Anna rescued from a tough life in a circus. Anna and Jupiter formed a strong bond built on mutual understanding and respect. However, their joy was threatened when authorities questioned Anna's ability to care for Jupiter properly. Anna didn't give up easily. She fought courageously to prove that she could provide Jupiter and other animals like her with the love and care they deserved. Despite facing challenges, Anna remained determined to defend her cause. Subscribers pick. This Lakeland woman is one of the amazing humans we have discussed so far. She found an alligator and decided to keep it for herself as a pet. Not only that, she decided to train this pet to communicate with her and be a great companion. But as things were going smoothly between them, the state conservation officials stepped in and attempted to take the alligator away from her. It was a long legal battle between this woman and the officials, but eventually, the state conservation officials reversed their decision regarding the alligator. They allowed her to keep it instead of taking it from her. So far, what do you think about these scary pets? Which of them do you think you can have as a pet in the future? Let us know in the comments below. Number 5. Coco the Gorilla in 1971, Penny Patterson, a student at Stanford University, met a young gorilla named Coco at the San Francisco Zoo. This meeting marked the beginning of an extraordinary journey that captivated people worldwide. Penny's goal was to improve communication between humans and animals. To achieve this, she introduced Coco to sign language, a groundbreaking approach at the time. This revolutionary idea challenged existing beliefs about animal communication and intelligence. Penny's dedication and patience fostered a deep bond between her and Coco, transcending species boundaries. Together, they navigated through numerous challenges over four decades, showcasing the power of perseverance and inspiring others along the way. Their partnership highlighted the significance of communication and fostered a greater appreciation for animals. It demonstrated that intelligence and emotions are not exclusive to humans, but are shared across species. Number 4. Greg the Warthog Whisperer Meet Greg. His life changed when he became the proud owner of an unusual pet, a warthog named Wallace. Imagine a cute warthog chilling with dogs, enjoying belly rubs, and cozying up in his own pig house. Yep, Greg has a pet warthog. Greg's adventure into owning an exotic pet started with a phone call. Someone said there was a baby warthog needing a home, 
and Greg was happy to take him in. Since then, Greg's life has been full of fun and heartwarming moments with Wallace. But having a warthog as a pet isn't just about cuddles. Greg had to deal with the tricky rules about owning exotic animals to make sure Wallace was okay. He had to make sure Wallace had enough space to roam around and the right kind of food to eat. Greg also had to check with local authorities to make sure he wasn't breaking any laws by keeping Wallace as a pet. Even with the challenges, Greg is determined to give Wallace the best life possible. Wallace has brought a lot of happiness to Greg's life, from his cool fur to his contagious laughter. While it is weird to see a human being friends with a warthog, these two sure make a beautiful duo. Number 3. Deborah and her skunk squad. Deborah and Kevin live in a suburban house, but it's not what you might expect. They share their home with an impressive 50 skunks. But these aren't just any old pets. They're like family to Deborah and Kevin. Deborah started something called America's Soul Skunk Haven because she wanted to change how people view skunks. This place is a safe spot for skunks that need help as they get enough care and safety there. Deborah spends her whole day taking care of her skunks. She feeds them, cleans up after them, and makes sure they're healthy. But she doesn't stop there. She also speaks up for skunks and tries to help people understand them better. Once a year, Deborah's hard work gets celebrated with Skunk Fest, a big event where people from all over come to celebrate these animals. Skunk fans and curious folks alike gather to see and learn about skunks. Through Deborah's dedication, she shows that having unusual pets can bring joy. She challenges what people think is normal and helps people see the special connection between humans and animals. Number 2. Girl and Owl In a heartwarming video from 2015, a young girl and an owl shared a special moment that caught the attention of people all around the world. The video became really popular because it showed something unexpected. The girl hugging the owl. Normally, owls are known to be shy creatures that usually keep to themselves. But in this video, the owl didn't seem shy at all. Instead, it seemed to really enjoy being hugged by the girl, and it even snuggled up close to her. This sweet moment made a lot of people think differently about wild animals and how they can connect with humans. Usually, we might think that animals like owls don't want to be near people, but this video showed that's not always true. People on the internet, who are often doubtful about things they see, couldn't help but feel touched by this unusual friendship between the girl and the owl. The video reminded everyone that love and friendship can happen between different species. It made people talk about important things like kindness and understanding, and how everyone, no matter what kind of creature they are, needs connections with others. Number 1. Patty the Fox Whisperer Patty, also known as the Fox Whisperer, has a touching story about caring for foxes. It all began when Patty found a baby fox named Granny, who was alone and needed help. But Patty didn't stop there. He ended up taking care of not only Granny, but also two more foxes named Minnie and Henry. The bond between Patty and his furry friends is really strong. Having the foxes around not only made Patty happy, but also brought joy to local kids. They were amazed to see Patty walking with foxes instead of dogs. This made people call him the Fox Whisperer because he can understand and communicate with foxes like no one else. Even though Patty became famous because of his unusual friends, he stays humble. He doesn't think of himself as a master, but as someone who's always learning from the foxes. He wants to share his experiences so that others can appreciate living alongside wildlife too. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.